There's a lot of negative talk about the turbid relationships between the Jewish settlers and the Palestinians in the West Bank. However, we found out that there are many exceptions to the rules of collaborations and understanding between the two people who occupied the same land. Lipsky is one of the largest producers of plastic, sanitary and plumbing products in the Barkan industrial area. It has moved to the Samaria area after the factory relocated from the Israeli city Lod. The CEO Yehuda Cohen is extremely proud to help further the understanding between the Israeli and the Palestinians by hiring both to work side by side. When I am here and I see the workers, the Palestinian and the Israeli, and it's really good worker, very good people. When you give a good condition and a good and a respect, you get a wonderful relationship between the Palestinian worker and the Israeli worker. The Palestinian boycott affects 17% of my business when it started. Because of this boycott, I developed a new line of bathroom products that opened me to Israeli market and the European market. This is the right thing to be here and to build the relationship between Israel and Palestinian. And I will be here. Any kind of boycott will not remove me from here. We talked to some of the Palestinian workers at the factory how they felt working for an Israeli company. We are here. Half of us are Palestinians and half Israelis. I came to work here in 1998. And now I have been here for 15 years and seven months. I first came here as an employee, as an entry-level employee, and since then I've been promoted, and today I am the head of the assembly department in the factory. The work is pleasant. It's a very good job. The relationship on the job between the Israelis and the management is fabulous. It's all working fine. We work together, we eat together and drink together, and there's no problem. There is almost no difference between an Arab or an Israeli, but there is a difference in the salary. No difference in the work, but in the salary. There is not enough work in the Palestinian Authority, so some are working there and some are working here. Dan Katarivas, who heads the Division of Foreign Trade and International Relations at the Manufacturers Association of Israel, claims that the boycotts everyone is talking about will have very little impact on the factories in the Samaria area. I think that there is a lot of confusion concerning boycotts, okay? Uh, the only boycott that exists nowadays is actually uh, the call for Palestinian authority not to buy products which are produced in the settlements or in the, in the West Bank, okay? All the other issues, I mean, you've got a lot of uh, NGOs which are calling for boycotting products, etc., but it's very, uh, I mean, the effect of that is very limited uh, and, and, and very small. So uh, now there are some also ideas about labor in order to be able for the sake of uh, consumer transparency to identify where the products come from. But we're not talking about a boycott. On an overall basis, if you look at the macro picture, it has a very, very limited effect and it's really not very much uh, influential. David Simcha created the Israeli-Palestinian Chamber of Commerce in order to show the skeptics on both sides that with a lot of goodwill a better future can be achieved. Israel and Palestine will live side by side with a very close and good relation. Uh, I believe that we can show the world that can be done and I believe that it can promote business, culture, sport and everything between the two nations. Although we can't really conclude that all is rosy between the Israelis and the Palestinians in the West Bank, we are able to see some very touching human connections that can serve as an exemplary behavior to others. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Israel.